As we move on to the next set, since Lord of the Rings, a wonderful ring has been found, it's been pulled, it's been graded, all that shenanigans. It really got me thinking, Commander Masters. Yeah, we're gonna be opening a lot of them. I'm planning on opening, yeah, huge opening, man. Probably 20 plus, 30 plus collector boxes. So stay tuned, like and subscribe, yeah really got me thinking right so the box prices really expensive high prices you know set boosters collector boosters um yeah i mean the big hype is definitely the the commander decks and it just reminded me of of like man they gotta put something in that set man they have to put something to really justify justify the pricing on on these boxes and you know what? They gotta go all in, man. They gotta go all in, freaking reserve list, man. Do you guys remember when reserve list got updated and they actually removed some cards on the list, man? And you know what? Commander Masters, freaking Commander, the top, the number one format in Magic, Commander Masters. I looked on some of the lists that are like, CDH, you know, staple, you know, it's, they're basically staple in Commander. And you know what? This is probably when are they, you know, they're going to do it. They might do it. They might update the reserve list. And I made a list over here, some, some small list that are like super expensive, the reserve list. And I know many of you guys would love to get this reprinted because they're very, very playable. And uh, yeah, I mean, I got a couple lists here. Like number one, you know, not in order. Gilded Drake, so powerful. You know, that, that blue creature that can just like swap creatures, you know, swap commander with like any, anything. So powerful, man. You know, I think that's probably one of the best creatures, you know, in, in Urza Saga, right? Next one, Yogmoth's Will. So powerful spell, man. From Urza Saga again, I think most of the list over here are in that era, you know, you, you guys will notice it. Yogmoth's Will, man, so powerful, you know, you can combo in any black deck. Uh, the next card, Intuition, another combo card in Commander. Oh man, right now they're like probably around 200. Like most of these cards are like in that range. Um, and the next one, check this out, man, Grim Monolith. Another combo card in Commander. You can just attach, you know, um, what is it? The power artifact? Yeah, attach power artifact. You can just combo out, you know, infinite mana. Um, yeah. Next one. Check this out, man. Lion's Eye Diamond. Yeah, from Mirage, man. Right now they're hovering like around $400, man. Another powerful Commander card. And like I said, man, these cards, you can see it in almost CEDH decks, some of Commander decks that are trying to like get get the best play, man. Ooh, this is my favorite one right here on the list. Mox Diamond. Oof, my God. They're like, how much are they in right now? How much? Like four, five, six hundred? Mox Diamond? Next one. Null Rod. Another hate card. Another reserveless card. Man, can you imagine? <sighs> Null Rod. Oh, this one's a good one too in any green deck, man. Survival of the Fittest. One of the most powerful enchantment in Commander, man. So expensive. What, two, 200, right? 200, 300? Um, next one. Another great land. City of Traders. Oh, man. So powerful. It's like Ancient Tomb. Um... Yeah, if you have those cards, man, super fast mana, man. And the next one is probably my favorite in this list because a lot of people cannot afford to get one of these land. Actually, this this land specifically, and they would want to own one because it's so powerful. You know what it is? Gaius Cradle. Yeah, Gaius Cradle. And the last... The last one, definitely, as you guys are expecting, 
all the duels, man. All the dual lands can get reprinted. Yeah. I'm not, this is tinfoil hat. You know, I'm not guaranteeing anything, but I'm just saying commander masters. And as far as like the pricing wise on these boxes, they're so expensive. And Watsi, just, just think about anything that they have to do to put any serialized cards, you know, or like something special, you know, what, what cards could they put in the set to justify the pricing on these boxes? So, and I think of like, yo, they gotta go all in. They might just like update the reserve list and remove cards on reserve list. I don't know, man, what you guys think?